all the books. Hey, hey, it's time for book reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to Fork Master's vlog for the Warhammer for the Files and Gaming System, created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to my 19th comic review. Today I'm reviewing, I'm reviewing the comics called The 19 Years, written by James Peaty and the artist drawn by David Milgates. It started out as a comic strip in Warhammer Monthly number 62 and ran until number 68. Today is day 25 of this year's Orktober. It's currently out of print as far as I am aware. We can begin with the front cover. They have one dedicated to the front cover for this one. On it we see four, su the, so four surviving main characters posing with weapons in, in a sort of relaxed mode. I would say the art style isn't for me here. I would give this 4 out of 10 forks. Let's see what this story is all about. In the steamy jungles of Maypax, a routine orc clearance mission turns into the opportunity of a lifetime for the men of the 19 years. The band of scheming Kadashans move further into the heart of darkness seeking the riches of the lost temple. There are thieves in the temple, but what lurking evil awaits them? Trapped in an ancient temple deep in the jungle of Maypax, the traitors finally make his move. Betrayed, exhausted and surrounded by orcs, the Nightingales make their last stand. So this is, uh, I threw together all the descriptions from the different um, magazines they were a part of here. So this comic opens up with the Katashan 19th preparing their last stand against orcs. It then flashes back two weeks to show us how they ended up in this place. A wounded trooper stumbles in the camp and says that the temple contains an artifact on this planet. Vox operator Hilt suggests that they should divert from the senseless slaughtering and to take a look at this, which Captain Obdant says that they will not as it would dishonor their dead. Later on during a debriefing, he seems to have changed his mind as that something happened with the explorator team that was ambushed earlier when they were looking for something. Many of the men are, are up for it as they are tired of doing many old tasks on a worthless planet. It quickly shifts over to, to the perspective of some tech priests that discusses that they have wanted to search this planet for a really long time, but the warp storm has it covered away for that in time. The dialogue here is a bit cringy and I would say uh, this is a problem with the medium as the, this information could have been delivered more naturally in written form and not in a comic where they have to speak it out loud. The trooper who delivered the message in the first place is then later on found dead, theoretically from an insect bite, but it looked more, much more like a needle puncture. Hilt then joins the group despite being with them only for a few months, making him very suspicious. A group of five Katashan troopers, one sentinel driver and an ogre walks out. One of them are killed by insects early on, devouring him to the bone until they can put him to the flame. 13 days they walk on straight and on the 14th day they come across an orc camp. They let loose and open fire upon them, slaughtering the Xenos. Hiltem comes out to reveal they have reached the hidden temple. Inside the temple they find the dead remains of the Mechanicus Explorator team. They find some more corpses, only they, these don't stay dead and start approaching one of the troopers. Inside, a small Nurgling jumps out. The life of the trooper is slowly sucked out of him, so he pins two grenades and sacrifices himself for the others to survive. At the end of the temple, they find what, what was hindered inside, a small piece of an ancient armor. The troopers are disappointed, and then Hilt reveals himself to be a traitor and holds them at gunpoint. The captain tells his troopers to put their weapons on the ground and that he knew he was a traitor by revealing some parts that happened prior that we didn't see on screen. This was some very bad writing even though he was very obviously a traitor to begin with. Anyway, Hilt begins to talk about the planet that long ago untouched by war that was inhabited by primitive humans. Here we have the depiction of, of what closely resembles that of African and, and Asian farmers, so this is some iffy territory, if we would talk about representation. The planet was however visited by Typhus, the first captain of the Death Guard who enslaved them. He leaves only death behind in the temple where a small piece of his armor resides. As Hilts gloats, the Ogryn sneaks up on him, then who throws him across the room and disturbs the armor piece, which makes the whole cave start to collapse in a true Indiana Jones style. Another of the troopers gets killed, but the rest makes it out, only to meet a bunch of orcs laying in an ambush. 
It is interrupted as a Valkyrie carrying Cowboys of the Sericat 27th then come to rescue them and the Fragment. Following the death of the Orcs, Hilt tries to have them executed for treason but instead is beaten up by the Ogryn, and it ends with them flying away. So what did I think about this comic? Well, so the story is quite interesting, at a Vietnam War inspired story with a hint of careless heroes where a couple of troopers get a AWOL to find some treasure and many bites the dust along the way. I can't say the same for the characters as they are more or less rather empty shells with clone faces. I couldn't really pick out who was who outside of perhaps the captain and Hilt. The art style is rubbish and I'm not a fan of it with the exception of Typhus which looks awesome. I think definitely it could have been a little more space to develop the characters so I would care about them more individually. I would give this comic a 5 out of 10 forks and with that will I will conclude this comic review. Thank you much for watching this comic review. See you around everybody. Bye bye.